What's going on? Ryan Troy back with another video for you today. And in this video, I want to talk to you about how I've been editing some of my photos as of late with this software called Reblum. Now, the best thing about Reblum is it is a standalone application and extremely easy. Like it is very user friendly. And what I mean by that is with one click of a button, you can take your photo from looking the way it was to being retouched in a beautiful way. Now, the best thing about this as well is you can use this with Lightroom and Photoshop and Photoshop. It'll be under filters with all of your other plugins that you have in Photoshop and in Lightroom with a right click of a button, you can edit in Reblum and it will pop up the application. Now, one of the best things that I really love about Reblum is the fact that you can select multiple photos in Lightroom and you can go ahead on and put it all into one and just go with the settings that you want and it will edit all of those photos. Batching is so easy with Reblum. Now in this video, I'm gonna show you from this shoot that I recently did and we're gonna show you exactly the way I was able to retouch these photos very quickly and show you the results that I got. Let's go to the computer. Okay, so here we are in Lightroom and I have a few different images. Now this image I would consider maybe one of the more easier images to edit these two or these next two images I would consider maybe like your most extreme edit right here, right? When we see, you know, some of the stuff that we have on his face, whether it's this photo or whether we're on this photo. Now we're going to see how the software handles this. And then this one right here would be considered um, a medium image, I, I would say, to see how this works. Now, remember this software is a one click solution. Now what I can do is I actually can select all of these, right click, come to where it says editing and choose Reblum. And then what it would do is it will put them all in one. But for right now, let's just start. Let's see exactly what we'll get. Actually, let's edit these two. So we're gonna come over here. We're gonna go to edit and Reblum. And then right here, you know, I make sure that it's in 16 bit and it's a TIFF and then I hit edit. Now it's going to pull it up in my second monitor. And when it does, I just drag it on over here to my first monitor. All right. Now here we go. Now it already did its thing. We're going to zoom in a little bit. Now this is what they consider to be the natural look. Now I'm going to show you before and after. This is before and this is after. Okay. And then this right here is the fashion look. Now it really depends on what you're going for. I honestly like the fashion in some types, but you know what? Right here, I'm going to go with fashion. Now, one thing you will see that it did miss this part, but I'd rather deal with this part right here than once again having to deal with all of this one click gets it away another one of my favorite things to do though is i like to take the texture and put it all the way down just so i can keep some of this texture in the image still still want to keep the texture and let's go to the second image let's put it in natural click the second image it's gonna do its thing analyze everything actually we get to see this one in real time so let's zoom in a little bit more and we're going to kind of look at both of their faces and once again it it left this part and i'm starting to think maybe it just thinks that you know this is a part of the face but like i said once again that's not really a hard thing for me to edit out one thing and let's go to fashion before we do before and after look at that so this is natural and this is fashion and we can even see it in her face exactly what it does to her face look at this so natural and fashion that looks pretty good now here's the before and after this is before and this is out there. And the best thing about this is, so what we get to do now is we actually get to save this. We get to export this. I could put this as a JPEG, put the quality to a hundred, of course, and then hit save. And then it will give me any place I want. I guess I'll just choose desktop for now. Uh, select, fo actually, yeah, let's put it in a new folder. I don't care. Select folder and then boom. It just that quick, go ahead, save this as a jpeg now for me the way i do my photo shoots is i offer fully retouched photos where i really go into photoshop and it's really really detailed but then i also offer something that i like to call standard edits where i kind of just do color graded in lightroom and give it to them but since this right here is already baked into lightroom i think it'll make my workflow that much easier because all i have to do is just select all the photos that i want and then go through this process it's a one-click process and then save the photos 
it's just a great process so let's go ahead on and go to the next image right that that's what i consider to be the hardest image i'm gonna go to this image next and we're gonna do the same thing edit in reblum and we're gonna go ahead on and choose that and here we go as it's making up his mind and boom right let's get a little closer and as i said before i like my texture down and this is the fashion look and this is a natural look once again the fashion look and a natural look and this is before and after right so you know if you want to take the texture up or whatever i think once again it did a phenomenal job i mean look at the areas that it's taken out of the face and it's one click right this is a great starting point if you want to go in and do some further let's say dodging and burning which i kind of feel like this does right like I, I feel like it's doing all of the dodging and burning but the fact that it does it this quick is just crazy but it's really getting rid of all of these big blemishes that you would want to get rid of in the photo with one click one click guys all right and let's go to the third one the one that i said i feel would be one of the easier edits right one of the things that you wouldn't have to do that much to the face and it also does the body i don't want you to think that it just does the face it does the body as well so let's go ahead on and edit in reblum and see what this looks like okay so now we have it doing its own thing and boom it's finished so let's zoom in a little bit let's see what we got here and look at that this is before and this is after even like this area right here look at that it gets rid of that but it keeps the mold it keeps the dark mold that that the fact that it knows what's a mold and like what could be considered a blemish in itself is pretty pretty nice so see bringing the texture kind of brings that back a little bit but not all the way like here when we do the intensity so we could that's that's another good thing too right so maybe you you feel like this is too soft you get to actually adjust this slider to dial it in exactly what you want so this is fashion and this is natural for this, I probably like fashion. I love intensity, the general part being all the way up. And for me personally, I like the texture all the way down because with the texture being down, it preserves the texture. Uh, with the texture being all the way up, it kind of takes away from it, as you can see right here, all the way up, all the way down. So I kind of like it like that. That way we get to preserve as much detail as possible while getting rid of the blemishes. So. That is how you would do this in Lightroom. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to show you how I would do this in Photoshop. Okay, now that we're in Photoshop, for one, what I always do is duplicate my layers twice, okay? Just because, you know, if I mess something up, I want to be able to go back. All right, so what we do now is we will go to the Filter tab, right? And it should be under here at the bottom. We see Reblum, Reblum Retouch. Go ahead on and click that and it shall pull it up in my other window again let me bring it on over here let us do its thing and then we're going to come in right here and look what we have here look at that we'll come back to fashion we got a before and an after before and an after now here's the best thing right i'm gonna go ahead on and go with let's see Oh yeah, you know, I like to take my texture down. There we go. I'm gonna go like that, right? Just because I want to show you exactly, and I chose this image for a reason, right? Just because I want to show you. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Look at this. Look at that. <laughs> we got rid of all of that with this pro. That's just phenomenal. That's crazy. So I'm gonna go ahead on and duplicate this layer and just show you how I just get rid of something like this really fast with the spot healing tool so i'm just gonna sample like around this area right here and then just boom right i got rid of that and then we could come on over here to this side and just some little parts right here because i'm telling you doing this right here is so much easier so much easier and you got to be real careful with this but you know i'm a kind of a pro at this right here but this is real easier than having to go one by one on everything on his face and just like that we got rid of the whole thing now let's let's go with just the way it came in and the way it looks now right so this is the way it came in and this is be that isn't that this is this 
come on like some some products you don't even have to you don't even really have to pump up like you are seeing this in real time it started like this and with reblum we went to this and then with the little bit of editing you saw me just do we went to this you can't get no better than that so there you have it Hopefully you like this video and if you like the software, go ahead on and get your link down in the description below. There is a free trial, so go ahead on and claim that free trial and let me know if you like it or not. Remember, after the free trial, if you don't want to pay, you don't have to, but it is definitely worth you checking it out, especially since the trial is free. So until the next time, peace.